This video, I'll show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.6 with a Windows PC. Before jumping in, a small percentage of people watching my videos are actually subscribed. So if you get any value out of this, please consider subscribing. It truly helps out the channel. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of the video. Open any browser, Google Chrome or Firefox and the link for this download site will be down in the description. Just simply press on the big download button and the download for Checker and Windows will start straight away. It's gonna take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed, but by the time it's downloading, just wanna mention a few things that are quite important. This will be full guide on how you can jailbreak your device, but I'll also show you how you can unjailbreak your device if you ever decide it's not your jam. And of course, I'll share some of the best tweaks that you can install that I personally use. Anyway, before we get started, there are a couple of disclaimers I need to get out of the way. Jailbreaking iOS is completely legal under the United States DMCA. Of course, installing cracked or pirated apps have been a reason to jailbreak devices, but stay away from that crap. You really shouldn't need me to tell you randomly installing pirated apps or stuff from the internet. It's a bad idea. Secondly, this jailbreak is very, very safe and can be removed easily. And lastly, Google is your friend. Look, this video will try to be as comprehensive as possible if you face any problem, you're likely not the first person to experience it. So go search Reddit, YouTube, and then ask me in the comments. So next up, once the download is finished, locate the downloaded folder or the downloads folder and you'll see checkrain.zip. Simply right click and click on extract all to extract this zip file. And also, if you want to know some of the best tweaks that I personally use on my iPhone, make sure to watch this video till the very end because in the end, I'll share some of the tweaks that I have and open the folder that we just extracted and in there you'll see two items. One is rufus.exe which under type you'll see it's an application, the smaller file and you'll see a bigger file which is something like 200 megabytes and it is a disk image file. Under type you can see it says disk image. So what you want to do is you have to open the rufus software and simply bring a pen drive. We need that. Plug it in and select your pen drive under the drop down menu as you can see and click on the big select button. Select the other file that was there in the folder, the disk image file which was something like 200 megabytes and open that in Rufus. So you have to select the bigger file and open that in Rufus and click on start. By the time it's processing, I just want to explain what we did in a nutshell so that you better know what's going on. Stick with me for a second, this is really important. We extracted the zip file, it gave us a folder. In that folder, there are two files, rufus.exe and jackrain.iso. We opened rufus and clicked on the big select button, plugged our pen drive in our PC and then selected jackrain.iso in rufus software. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Now let's go to jackrain and jailbreak our device. Now I know this is gonna sound a bit weird but basically once Rufus is done you have to close out anything that's open and shut down your PC. Once your PC is completely powered off, next up what you wanna do is turn it back on while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu. For me the key is F12 but for you it will be something different. But how on earth you know what is the key to enter in one time boot menu for your laptop? In that case, I'll link a PDF file down in the description below which will have keys to enter in one time boot menu for pretty much all laptops. But all in all, the basic idea is that you have to use those arrow keys to go up and down. Again, this might look a different, but it's very easy. Use arrow keys, select your pen drive and press enter. Now you can see it says Checkrain 0.12.3 Windows by Justetech and a huge shout out to Justetech for making this Checkrain port that works on Windows. Now you'll see some things on your screen and many people, many, I mean like hundreds of people on Twitter in comments ask me, is this gonna delete their files or anything like that? No, why? It's, it's not gonna do anything like that. So it says welcome to check ring. The first part is done, but there is much more to it. We have to enable skip A11 BPR check, allow untested iOS versions to jailbreak our device. So don't skip this video and watch it very very carefully till the very end and I'll show you some of the tweaks too so that's gonna be real fun. And as a proof so that you are rest assured that this works, my iPhone is in fact running on iOS 14.6. 
as the title of the video says but anyway plug your iphone with your pc and this is gonna prompt you to trust your iphone well this is the most important thing that you have to do to make sure that there is an active connection between your phone and your PC or desktop or whatever you're using. So once we connect our phone, you see we are greeted with an error message. It says iPhone 7 is supported but iOS 14.6 is not. Don't worry, it's just a checkering thing. Just use your keyboard and go to options in checkering. Use those arrow keys to go up and down and put a small check mark on allow untested iOS versions. Now look, iOS 14.6 works with checkrain but it's simply untested and by the time you're watching this video checkrain might have officially updated their tool but i've tested it on my iphone and on other iphones i have and it works perfectly fine no problem i've tested it on my ipad on my iphone 7 and on my iphone 10 and it works just like a charm so don't worry about it it's gonna work perfectly fine and again, go to options and you'll see an option where it says skip A11 BPR check. You have to enable this option only if you have an iPhone 8 or iPhone 10. Have an iPhone 7? Don't enable it. Just enable it if you have iPhone 8 or iPhone 10. Click on start and it's gonna say, hey, your iPhone is untested, the iOS version is untested, continue at your own risk. Don't worry nothing is going to happen to your device and just start the process as you can see the our iphone's screen went completely blank and there's nothing again please don't worry it's not gonna harm your device and it will show an itunes logo now okay once your device is in recovery mode check screen will prompt you to enter your device in dfu mode and in that case it will show you what you have to do on your screen so for me it says I have to press the side button and the volume down button for 10 seconds but after 5 seconds I have to release the side button but keep holding the volume down button. So I'll do that. For you it will be different because if you are having iPhone 6, maybe iPhone 10, the process is a little bit different but check screen will guide you what you have to do on your screen. And if you have a Mac, the process is fairly simple. So as you can see it's booting our device. and. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen on my iPhone. It looks so cool. You can share it with your friends if you want to. But all in all, this looks pretty darn cool. Okay, Checkrain says my device is booting and my device is indeed and it says all done. The process is all done. Our device is jailbroken. But the process will be a little bit different for you because maybe it will say error code 77, maybe error code 76 or whatever. So in that case, Google is your friend. Just go ahead and do a quick search and you'll find the solution. But for 99% of people, it will work. After 5 to 10 seconds, you'll see the check ring icon suddenly appearing on my screen or maybe your screen if you're doing it along the way. Just open it and make sure to connect your phone to a Wi-Fi connection or use cellular. Click on Cydia and click on install Cydia. And finally, after all this, it's installing Cydia. If we don't know what Cydia is, it's a package manager used to install tweaks. But basically, everything is working now. But don't click off this video because I'm going to share some of the best tweaks that I've installed on my iPhone. But first, I'll show you this iPhone is in fact running on iOS 14.6. If I go to settings, general, about, you can see iPhone 7 on iOS 14.6. Now I'll show you how to unjailbreak your iPhone but before that I'll share some of the best tweaks that I think you should install on your iPhone to get most out of the jailbroken experience. Okay, so this is an iPhone 11. I use this as my daily driver and it's jailbroken with Taurine jailbreak. But that doesn't really matter because I'll show you the tweaks I use, not the jailbreaks I use. So if I pop open settings, as you can see, I don't go crazy with the jailbreak tweaks. I have just a few tweaks installed and I'm wiping this home screen setup. Again, if you want to learn more about these jailbreak tweaks, I have a dedicated video on 100 best jailbreak tweaks, which I will link down in the description below. But the icon pack that I'm currently using is YS Snowboard, And if I go ahead and show you, the name is 
kinda stock so if i show you here as you can see this puts it to the default yeah it's it's a very minimal icon set and i like things to be kind of minimal so i just enable this and click on apply changes and this is how my home screen looks most of the days another thing i'm using a tweak named boxy 4 to get this boxy kind of look it's a paid tweak it's something like five bucks i think i'll link it down in the description below in case you want to check it out and one more thing just don't pirate these tweaks just don't get them for free because if you get these tweaks for free they might contain virus and it's gonna harm your device so if you want a paid tweak just pay for it let's say you hate jailbreaking how you can unjailbreak your device just simply open check green app and then click on restore system it will reboot your iphone it's gonna take about two minutes and your device will be unjailbroken and yeah that's pretty much it that's how my home screen looks if you want this wallpaper i'll link it down in the description below and i'll catch you all very soon Peace.